Hello viewers, in this session we are going to discuss one important problem from three-dimensional geometry uh, related to uh, equation of plane, right? So here uh, we have this problem in which we have to find the equation of a plane which passes through two points. So the coordinates of the two points lying on the plane are given 2 minus 1, 0, 3 minus 4, 5 and parallel to the line 2x is equal to 3y is equal to 4z. So here uh, we have to find the equation of a plane. Uh, let us draw a rough diagram. So suppose this is a plane uh, P whose equation uh, is to be determined and this plane P it passes through uh, two points uh, say A and B right where A is this point and B is this point. Right, and this plane uh, is parallel to some uh, given line uh, whose equation is given as uh, 2x is equal to uh, 3y is equal to 4z. Right, so now viewers, we know that uh, any plane uh, which passes through uh, a point, say x1, y1, z1, right. Suppose we are given a point x1, y1, z1, then the equation of the plane passing through this point uh, is given by a times x minus x1 plus b times y minus y1 plus c times uh, z minus z1 is equal to 0, right? So this is the equation of a plane passing through some point uh, x1, y1, z1. And here A, B, C are the direction ratios of the normal vector uh, to this plane. So the A, B and C are the direction uh, ratios of the normal vector uh, to this plane, right? So suppose uh, we draw the normal uh, vector like this and here we have the vector N. So now uh, this plane P, it passes through this point A, whose coordinates are uh, 2 minus 1 comma 0, right? So the equation of the plane P can be obtained by uh, substituting uh, x1 is equal to 2, y1 is equal to minus 1 and z1 is equal to uh, 0, right? So the uh, equation of the plane uh, is now given by x minus 2, then we have B. Uh, y plus 1 because here we have minus 1 so here we have minus minus plus then here we have c times uh, z minus 0 right okay so now this plane also passes through this point that is point b so it implies that uh, this equation uh, must satisfy uh, this point also so we have a and uh, uh, here we can uh, take the value of x is equal to 3, y is equal to minus 4 and z is equal to 5. So we have 3 minus 2, then we have uh, here minus 4 plus 1 and here we have 5 uh, minus 0, here we have equal to 0, right? So this is equal to 0. So 3 minus 2 is 1, so we have a uh, minus uh, 3b and here we have 5c, right? So after applying uh, these two points to uh, this equation, uh, we have obtained uh, an equation in A, B and C, right? So now let us come to the uh, equation of the line, right? Now here uh, we are given this line L uh, whose equation is 2x is equal to 3y is equal to 4z and this line L is parallel to uh, the plane uh, P, right? So let us uh, divide uh, this equation throughout by uh, say 12, right? So we have x over uh, 6, here we have y over 4 and here we have z over 3, right? So we have uh, divided this uh, uh, equation throughout by 12 so that we can get the uh, standard form of the line 
in the form x minus x1 over a y minus y1 over b and z minus z1 over c right so this equation can also be written as x minus 0 over 6 y minus 0 over 4 z minus 0 over 3 right so uh, this equation suggests that the direction ratios of the line l are given by 6 4 and 3 so here uh, this line passes through the origin that is 0 comma 0 comma 0 right so the direction ratios of the line l are given by 6 comma 4 comma 3 so now see uh, this plane p is parallel to this line l so the normal vector is perpendicular to this line l right so the normal vector is perpendicular to the given line l so whenever we have a plane uh, which is parallel to some given line then the normal vector is perpendicular to the given line right now the direction ratios of the normal vector are a b c and the drs of the line l are 6 4 3 and since the vector n is perpendicular to l so we must have an equation that is 6 times a plus 4 times b plus 3 times c is equal to 0 right because uh, from vectors we know that if two uh, vectors are perpendicular then their dot product is equal to 0 right so the dot product of these two vectors uh, must be equal to 0 so we can write it like this a b c dot and here we have 6 4 3 is equal to 0 right so a times 6 the plus uh, 4 times b and then plus 3 times c is equal to 0 so now we have another equation that is 6a plus 4b plus 3c is equal to 0 right so now we have two equations and we have to find the values of a b and c so now to solve these two equations uh, we'll make use of the method of elimination and here uh, what we will do we'll multiply uh, this equation by uh, 4 and this equation by 3 right so that the uh, coefficients of uh, the variable b are uh, minus 12 in the first equation and plus 12 in the second equation so we have 4a then we have minus 12b then we have 20c is equal to 0 and here we have 18a plus 12b plus 9c is equal to 0 right so now let us add these two equations so we have uh, 18 plus 4 22a uh, these two get cancelled and here we have plus uh, 29c is equal to 0 right so now we can write 22a is equal to minus uh, 29c and uh, we can also rewrite this equation like this a over minus 29 is equal to c over 22 right and let us take a scalar say lambda where lambda is some uh, real number which is not equal to uh, 0 so now we can express uh, a and c in terms of lambda so a can be uh, written as minus 29 lambda and c can be written as 22 uh, lambda right now substituting the values of a and c in this equation uh, we can get the value of b in terms of lambda so now we have here a is equal to minus 29 lambda then minus 3b and here we have 5 times uh, c that is 22 lambda is equal to 0 so we can solve it here we have minus 3b this is 110 lambda is equal to 0 so 110 uh, minus uh, 29 is equal to uh, 81 right so this is 81 um, lambda minus 3b 
is equal to 0. So we have 81 lambda is equal to 3b and b is equal to 81 lambda over 3. So this is 27 uh, lambda, right? So the value of b is 27 uh, lambda. So now the equation of the plane can be obtained by uh, substituting the values of a, b and c in this equation, right? So here a is minus 29 lambda, then we have uh, uh, b is equal to 27 lambda times y plus 1 and uh, c is uh, 22 uh, lambda times z minus 0 is equal to 0, right? So, uh, dividing uh, throughout by lambda, uh, we can easily eliminate lambda because the lambda is not equal to uh, 0, right? So, we have minus uh, 29x plus 58, then we have 27y plus 27 and here we have 22z uh, is equal to uh, 0. So let us simplify, we have minus 29x, then we have plus 27y, and here we have plus 22z, and 58 plus 27 is equal to 85, right? So this is equal to 0. So this is the Cartesian equation of this plane P, which passes through 2 comma minus 1 comma 0 and 3 comma minus 4 comma 5 and parallel to this line, right? We can also express this equation like this, multiplying both sides by negative 1. So we have here 29x, then minus 27y, and then uh, here we have minus 22z minus 85 is equal to zero so viewers this is how uh, we can solve these kind of problems